All right, guys, for those of you who have been with me on this channel for a long time, you guys know I'm a really big fan of local multiplayer games, games that you can play with your friends locally while you're at your house and having a blast. And I've loved them so much, and you guys have loved it so much that I've done a lot of videos on the Nintendo Switch already uh, every year doing my local multiplayer games, so you guys can check that out. Today, I started thinking, you know, I should do these for every other system that I own. You know, I own a lot of games for different systems. I'm, I'm a huge fan of local multiplayer, so I decided that we're going to do a video now on my top local multiplayer games across all the systems. And today, we're starting with the Nintendo DS. The DS had a ton of great local multiplayer games. And again, this video is not talking about games that you could play, uh, that you used to be able to play on the Nintendo Online Network, because that obviously doesn't work anymore. But games that you can either use a single car or multi car to be able to play with multiple DSs in the same house. And there's so many games that do a lot of fun things with this stuff that we're going to be talking about today. This is obviously a top 15 list, but I easily could have made a top 20 or a top 25. But I had to cut it down at some point. So I'm really excited to dive into this video with you guys and future ones. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is all right, guys, so coming in at number 15 is a game that a lot of you guys probably have not heard of before uh, because it's a game I only found out after the DS's life about how good it actually was. And the game we're talking about here is New International Track and Field. Now, if that game rings a bell, of course, it's because it's obviously Track and Field, the same game that we all love from the arcades and stuff um, back in the 80s and 90s. And it was a game that was brought over to the DS that a lot of people seem to have missed, including myself, up until recently. And this is a great local multiplayer game. There's a bunch of different mini games that, that they added into this one. Uh, obviously, the same track and field type gameplay as you're seeing here. Uh, Port it over to the DS, where obviously you're using the touchscreen for most of the mini games there. But they do a really good job, and they're fun to play with your friends. You can do four players, of course. So this is definitely one I urge you guys to check out if you guys have not heard of this one before and you guys are fans of games like Track and Field and you're looking for a great local multiplayer games to play with your uh, your Nintendo DS, go ahead and check this one out, guys. Track and Field coming in at number 15. The next one coming in at number 14 is a game that's been, or, and a series that's been running around here for a while, and it is WarriorWare, and this one specifically is called WarriorWare DIY. Uh, but you can also substitute this one for Untouched, which is another WarriorWare game that came on the DS. And either this one or that one are both fantastic games to play on your Nintendo DS with three other people locally. Uh, it's obviously frantic mini games that you're playing. They're all like three to five seconds long, as we all know from this series. And both of these games are fantastic. And DIY stands apart because you can actually create your own mini games. So you can actually... It teaches you how to make your own mini games and stuff like that. You can save them, then play them with your friends. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and of course, it has you know over seventy mini games that it also came with as well. So you won't have any short of shortage of mini games to play with this one, guys. So coming in at number fourteen, check it out: WarriorWare DIY. The next one coming in on this list is another franchise that we're all really familiar with that came out on the DS, and that is Kirby Superstar Ultra. Now, this one is a compilation of a lot of smaller Kirby games that you can play co-op with your friends. Uh, you know, again, local multiplayer, you can play co-op with each other, but it also has mini games as well on top of that. Uh, so the package is really fleshed out. You have your co-op story that you can play with two players, local multiplayer, or you can do the mini games with up to four players as well. And the mini games are a lot of fun to play in local multiplayer, you know, the Kirby um, mini games that we're all used to seeing in some of the Kirby games are here and they're fantastic and a lot of fun to get uh, to play And this is one of the best Kirby games to come out period not not just you know on the DS But one of my favorite Kirby games that I've ever played uh, This one definitely stands out uh, as a total package of the co-op nature that you can play with the story mode And then the mini games that you can play as well with four players so guys definitely don't miss this one if you guys have a ds and you guys are fans of the kirby series that is kirby superstar ultra coming in at number 13 the next one coming in on this list that i really really like is new super mario bros on the ds coming in at number 12 so this game has two different modes that you can play so there's a luigi's mode where it's basically you uh, Mario versus Luigi and you're going through levels and you try to collect more coins and you're battling each other back and forth And it's of course a two-player game that you can play in local multiplayer But 
But you, what you can also do is there's actually a mini game mode in this one as well that you can actually play up to four players at that point. And there's a bunch of different mini games that you can play. They're a lot of fun, uh, you know, going through random Mario games that you can play with all your favorite characters and stuff. It's a lot of a lot of fun to be able to play four players with this and, and the mini games that they added. It's definitely a lot of fun to play. Caught me by surprise because uh, I didn't think this one had uh, mini games when it first came out. I, I kind of missed it. And that Luigi's mode that you can play two players is a lot more fun than you guys give it credit for, than most people give it credit for. Um, and, you know, with being able to turn into big Mario and big Luigi and, and you're going through battling each other. And then having access to the mini games where you can play with four players again. It's just a lot of fun to be had in this game. So if you guys have played this game and you haven't played this in local multiplayer with four of your friends or Luigi's mode, definitely go recheck this game out because it's a lot better than you guys probably remember it being. And it's really, really fun, um, you know, to be able to dive into this one and, and kind of check that out. Um, so definitely don't miss this one, guys. That is new Super Mario Bros on the Nintendo DS coming in at number 12. The next one coming in here at number 11 is of course Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Uh, this game on its own is fantastic. One of the standout Grand Theft Auto games that I've ever played and it's brought over to the DS so, so well. And this one also has fantastic multiplayer. You can play local multiplayer with your friends on their own DSs. You can do races, a single race where you can race each other. You can do seasonal races where you can actually race multiple races at the same time. Um, there's uh, a bunch of other different modes like Stash Dash, uh, which basically means that your opponent, you're trying to steal the van and deliver it and your opponent wants to do this, wants the same van and the same cash. And you're kind of both battling back and forth, trying to take the van from each other and try to deliver the cash. So really fun with this game, guys. Check this one out at number 11, Chinatown Wars. The next one on this list is one of my favorite series across the board. You know, I, I play this game on the PlayStation 1, uh, and I played it on my arcade as well. And that is the Point Blank series. And specifically, this one is the Point Blank DS series, which is basically a compila compilation of really fast mini games that you're basically competing against each other. Um, and they've made this game before with light guns on the PlayStation 1, and then they brought it over to the touchscreen on the DS. And even though the guns on the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1 that you can play this game with uh, serve the game better, they did a fantastic job of bringing over some of these mini games and this game over to the touchscreen on the Nintendo DS. And it lends itself to being a really, really fun game and a really fun party game on the Nintendo DS with, uh, you know, with local multiplayer where there's mini games being thrown at you and you're both competing against each other to try and, and basically beat the mini game, get the highest score and stuff. And, you know, there's mini games all over the place that you can play. There's a lot of different variety of games. If you guys have never played this series before, they're really wonky mini games and, and you know, they vary from very, very different mini games that you're playing. And, and there's, you know, no thing that you have to worry about as far as variety goes with this game so if you guys have not played this point blank series guys and you have a nintendo ds and you want to play local multiplayer this is a fantastic addition to the series so definitely check this one out point blank on the nintendo ds coming in at number 10 coming in here at number nine is a game that i bet a lot of you folks have probably not heard of before uh, because it's something I only recently came across as well, and that is Elite Beat Agent. So if you guys are fans of rhythm games on your Nintendo DS and stuff, this one uses like real world music, but it uses a touchscreen on the bottom as you're seeing here to basically play like a DDR type game, but it has local multiplayer that you can play against your friend, and it is so much fun, guys. If you guys have not heard of this game or have not seen it, check this one out, Elite Agents on the Nintendo DS coming in at number nine. The next one on this list is a game that I have a lot of fun memories with as well, and that's Big Brain Academy coming in at number eight. One of the games that we all got obsessed with on the Nintendo DS, trying to beat our friend's high scores to try to get a better average brain score than the rest of them. There's, you know, math involved, there's puzzles involved and stuff like that, and you're basically training your brain daily and trying to get the highest score. And this one also has fantastic local multiplayer uh, to play with your friends and see who can get the, the, who has the biggest brain in the group. So check this one out coming in at number eight, Big Brain Academy. The next one coming in at number seven is a long-standing series as well that I have really fond memories with, and I own multiple copies of this game in different places, and that is Bobberman Land Touch 2. But this one stands out as one of the most pinnacle games of the series. Uh, you know, maybe this one's probably right underneath uh, Saturn Bomberman, which is probably the best 
Bomberman game that you can play with your friends. But this one for the DS is fantastic and stands above most of the other console ports out there. There are so many things to do in this one. There's, of course, the battle mini game that you guys are all used to with a bunch of different power-ups that you can battle your friends and basically, you know, battle your friends and try to be the last Bomberman standing. But this one also has over 40 mini games that you can also play in local multiplayer with your friends. So it gives you a lot of variety, a lot of things to do, and not just the regular core gameplay of Bomberman that you're used to, which is also here as well, but 40 mini games in the compilation as well. And they're actually, most of them are a lot of fun to play with your friends and a lot of fun to play on the DS guys. So one of the more harder games to get on the DS is getting more and more expensive, but this one is fantastic guys. Check this one out. That is Bomberman Land 2 on the Nintendo DS. The next one coming in at number six here is a game that, uh, if you're a fan of board games and Mario Party and stuff like that, and you're a bigger fan of RPG, this game is right up your alley. This is Donkey Kong Journey on the Nintendo DS. Great local multiplayer game. If you guys are fans of Mario Party where you're going around the board leveling up and getting items and stuff like that, this game kind of feels like that, but instead of the mini games, you're actually playing and competing against battles against each other like an rpg battling system so it kind of mashes both those genres together kind of mario party board game type thing mixed with rpg elements or you're going around the board leveling up and and you know making yourself better and stuff and trying to be the best on the board it's really really fun in local multiplayer it's, it's definitely one you guys should not miss it's becoming harder and harder to actually get so look out for this one guys docupon journey coming in at number six the next one on this list is a game that definitely does not need any introduction. Uh, a game that's been a long-standing series still comes out to this day, and of course we're talking about Mario Party DS. Mario Party on the DS was a fantastic translation of the Mario Party City Mario Party series on a handheld device and obviously it uses the touchscreen and a lot of the games are based off the touchscreen so you'll see a lot of unique games on this one and even using some of the uh blowing into the microphone and stuff for some of the games and stuff but there's a lot of unique things that they do with these board games because of the touchscreen and stuff like that that you don't see in other mario party games and they're a lot of fun to play over 60 new mini games that you can play with your friends and family and again fantastic to play in local multiplayer on the nintendo ds a lot of fun to be had in this one if you guys are fans of mario party at all uh you know from the originals on the n64 and the gamecube on the ds definitely check this one out because they really did do it justice and that there's a lot of unique mini games uh because of the touchscreen that they tried and a lot of them are really really fun so check this one out guys coming in at number five mario party ds Coming in at number four is a game that a lot of us have fond memories of that actually just re-released on the Nintendo Switch here recently, and that is Clubhouse Games, a compilation of 42 different card games and board games, basically some of the most popular games out there. And you can play all of these in local multiplayer with your friends on the, you know, on your each having your own DS. And it's fantastic. You know, there's Mahjong in here, there's darts, there's dominoes, there's card games, there's you know, there's a lot of different variety of games on this. I remember playing this game nonstop as a kid, um, you know, Clubhouse games, and it's a lot of it's a game that I think a lot of us have fond memories of playing. And it's so much fun to be able to eat everyone have their own DSs and basically going in and, and playing these card games and dominoes and, and stuff like that and having a really fun time. So definitely one of these standouts on the Nintendo DS. Uh, a lot of variety, a lot of games to choose from. So if you guys have not picked this one up or knew about it for local multiplayer, check it out. Clubhouse Games coming in at number four. The next one on this list is definitely one I basically missed the train on that a lot of people obviously played, and that is Advance Wars Dual Strike coming in at number three. And I know that this one deserves to be in the number three spot because I played it now a lot over the past year once I actually got involved, but unfortunately I didn't have this when the DS came out. But over the last year, I've been playing a ton of this, and it's so much fun to be able to play local multiplayer against your friends on the DS. A lot of variety, a lot of things to do, and I'm really excited for the actual Switch port that's coming out for this that they're basically redoing but on the nintendo ds if you're looking for a strategic uh multiplayer game that's uh basically a tug of war going back and forth trying to you know kill each other's units and stuff um you know this is a fantastic strategy game on the nintendo ds I urge you guys to all check this one out that is advance wars dual strike coming in at number three the next one on this list is a game that you know 
has to be on this list. This game was so much fun when it came out, and it's the only FPS game to ever hit the Nintendo DS, and it has done so well. You would think that the controls wouldn't work on the Nintendo DS because it's using a touchscreen and stuff, but somehow or another, they managed to do this game justice. Basically, you use a touchscreen to actually move like your mouse basically at the bottom, then use a control stick to move around. There's actually a variety of different control uh, options that you can use this game with, but either way, it's fantastic. And playing this in local multiplayer, not only is a single player, of course, fantastic, but playing this in local multiplayer with your friends, having, you know, games like Deathmatch and stuff, being able to play with each other is such a fun game. And there's not a lot of Metroid games that were able to pull off multiplayer as well as this one did on the DS, even to this day. And it's so much fun to play, and it's easily the best FPS game on the Nintendo DS. And the fact that it has local wireless multiplayer as well easily secures its spot at number two as a big fan of, you know, shooters and stuff myself. Uh, this was a no-brainer. I play this game a ton with my friends, and uh, we still do to this day because there's, not, there's nothing like this on other systems. So definitely check this one out. Another one that's getting pretty expensive out there if you guys are looking for this one on the DS. That is Metroid Prime on the Nintendo DS. Coming in at number two. And we have finally reached our number one on here. And of course, we're talking about Mario Kart DS. I don't think there's anybody who's surprised that this is number one on most people's list. Uh, this was a perfect Mario Kart game when it came out on the DS uh, for handheld. And it had local wireless multiplayer where you can play with your, your friends near you and stuff. Uh, you know, have four player battles and stuff. And it was so, so much fun. And it's still one of the standout Mario Party titles around. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to play. The courses are really well designed. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it works really well. The graphics are fantastic. And it's the game that I had the most memories with playing with friends on the DS. And we still come sometimes play this on the DS now. And we all grab our DSs and we play this game now. Uh, some of the courses are unique to this game. And there's a lot of fun to be had in this one. And you can even play eight players and, uh, over local wireless. So there's a lot of fun to be had on here. Uh, guys, this is easily the best local multiplayer game you guys can play on the Nintendo DS, even though some of the ones on the top of this list are really closely following it, especially when you look at the top five. So if somehow you have not played this game yet and it's surpassed your life and you didn't play it on the Nintendo DS, I urge you to check this one out, guys. That is Mario Kart DS coming in at number one. All right, guys, so that was my top 15 Nintendo DS local multiplayer games. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and you got some games that you can now play local multiplayer with your friends if you have multiple DS's around if you want to get into this like I do because I love Nintendo Switch because I love local multiplayer games as we've talked about on this channel so if you guys like videos like this we're going to be doing a ton more on the 3DS we're going to be doing stuff on the Vita on the PSP all of these systems we're going to go through and do local multiplayer top 10 list for so definitely stay tuned for that if you guys want to not miss any of those videos, make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when that video goes live and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.